Today, I'll show you how to use both card sorting and tree testing techniques together to improve the information architecture on your website or app. Hi, my name is Alex, and welcome to the UX Tweaks channel. When people visit your website or use your app for the first time, they have an expectation of how your content should be organized. They make assumptions about where to find specific information, like expecting to see settings under user profile or shirts under a fashion category. How you choose to label and group your content will impact the user experience of your site. This is where card sorting helps. So what's card sorting? It is a simple user research method that helps you understand how your users see your content and how they organize it in their heads. You start off by creating your cards, with each card representing an item that you got from your site. It can be a service or a blog page or one of your products. Then your research participants arrange the cards into groups in a manner that makes the most sense to them. There are three types of card sorting. In the open card sort technique, participants group the items into categories of their own making. This is different from the closed card sort technique, where participants group the items into already predefined categories. Then lastly, you have the hybrid card sort technique where participants can group the items into predefined categories, but if they feel there's a better way to group them, they have the freedom to do so and create new categories as they wish. Now, card sorting is a simple technique, but you have to keep one thing in mind when trying to formulate definitive conclusions from the results. Trying to structure the content of your website or app in a way that is just right for all users is not an easy task especially when people have different points of view, different lived experiences, and different priorities that may not all be represented in your test participants. So to ensure your information architecture is actually effective and that your website or app is easy for users to navigate, you need to validate the results from your card sorting tests. Here is where tree testing saves the day. Tree testing is basically reverse card sorting. Instead of participants starting with information cards and having to organize them, you give participants a pre-existing organization of information, the information architecture, and then ask them to find specific content within that structure. Here's how it works. In this tree test, participants have to find ways to get from town A to town B on a bus company website. Using the provided structure, they make their way through the different categories and choose the label where they think they'd find such information. Once these tasks are completed, you can analyze anything the participants did. Where they clicked first, what path they took, how long it took them, and a lot more. You may be surprised to discover that only 50% of your test participants found the product in the right category. Or that out of that 50%, about 30% took a different path at first. You can only get these insights from tree testing, which is why it complements card sorting so well. While the results from card sorting itself sometimes don't reflect reality fully, paired together with tree testing, these two tools provide a comprehensive and conclusive view into your user's expectations. We've come to the end of the video. So to wrap it all up, remember, Card sorting helps you organize your content according to your user's expectations, while tree testing helps you confirm if it is indeed the right information architecture for you to use. You can't separate the two. I hope you found this video helpful. Please click the subscribe button below for more content like this, and head over to uxtweak.com to start conducting card sorting and tree testing for free. Link is in the description. See you next time.